All right, guys, what's going on? You may have noticed that I don't have my laptop on today. I don't have my background usually set up the way that I normally do, and that's because we're going out today. I am going to be going and looking at long exposure photography today. Like maybe a 20 minute walk away from our house is a nice little stream where there's a, a kind of like a man-made waterfall almost, where like it's been cut into the, it like, I'll show you when we get there. It's kind of like a, I really do not know how to describe it, but you'll see when we get there. But the waterfall's down, so I'm thinking that would be a good shot to take long exposure and practice some long exposure photography. Let's get over there. I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's go. But first we do that, we need to pack a bag. So let's, let's go pack a bag. Now, I'm not sure how well you can hear me right now because the sounds of the river is quite loud. But as you can see, that's what I'm talking about. I can't remember the exact name for it. I did walk past a dog walker on my way here and I mentioned what I was doing and he, and he said the name for what it is and for the life of me, can't remember it. But that's what we're going to be working with. So I'll take a photo of it now to show you what it looks like with a normal shutter speed, a relatively quick one. And as you can see, the water just freezes. You can't see much movement in the river, which for most of the time, if you're doing like sports or animal photography or portraits with people who might be a little bit more nervous, that's kind of what you want to make sure that you're getting as little movement in it as possible. So like there's less blur. However, in stuff like this, when you're wanting to get blur, I'll open the shutter speed for a longer amount of time. However, you'll notice when I do that, it becomes way, 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 way too bright. And that's where this comes in. It's variable ND filter. So as you can see, as I spin it, it gets darker. Uh, so you can't see my hand through it anymore. When I spin it all the way out here, you can see my hand through it. I'm gonna put that over the lens and take that long exposure shot one more time. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get the results that I'm looking for. So, let's have a look. Oh, that's so, that, that's so cool. That's so cool, like, I can't believe that worked. Oh my God. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go take some more photos and try and get some different angles. See you guys in a sec. All right, so um, I'm gonna need to call it a day because my busted, my old tripod can't cope with my heavy lens and it keeps falling and, my, and I keep and my camera keeps nearly hitting the floor. So I'm gonna need to call it a day there, but yeah. So that is this week's video. Um, I'm really happy with the results. I'm gonna come back potentially next week, potentially the week after. I'm not sure to come back and take some more shots like this at different parts of the river as well, because there's other different, like, faster moving parts of the river. So yeah, but yeah, uh, other than that, that is, this week's video, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what this is called, because I cannot for the life of me remember what this geographical feature, this man-made waterfall, this little like drop in the water, this man-made bridge drop thing in the water. I can't remember what it's called, so please in the comments, remind me what it's called, my hands are dirty, and I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys next week, bye.